Come on, I'll focus. This weekend has been kind of rough. Well, Saturday morning, I played volleyball. It went great until we were about six points in, and then I popped something back here. Terry's major, lat, subscap, something. But the rest of the practice, I had to hit left-handed because this shoulder is... Then on top of that, that afternoon, I got the second COVID shot. And that day I was fine. But the next day, whoa, that wrecked me. 20.5. That ties my highest strain ever. And I had that before 9 a.m. <laughs> that, one, that one volleyball workout was a 20.4. But because of that COVID shot, I woke up with a 6% recovery. Today, I'm doing a little better because I've got a 30% recovery. I'm actually good enough that I can get to all of these errands that I gotta run. Do you ever get just like super excited to run errands? When you're so sick and you finally feel good enough to run errands, that's, that's how today is gonna go. The first thing I have to do is actually take this to the shop. So uh, if you're unfamiliar with cameras, they have a sensor. And a big no-no of that sensor is getting it dirty. And I accidentally forgot that I had the lens cap off. And when I went to grab it, my finger went right inside. I don't know if you can see this, but there's a fingerprint in there, right there. And so I got to take it to the shop and have it cleaned. Because I need this camera for a video I'm doing on my other channel. While I'm there, I'm going to be looking for another camera. Let's go get this sensor cleaned. You're probably thinking to yourself, like why on earth would you buy another camera when you already have one of the best cameras out there. Yes, the Canon R5 is an incredible camera, but if I don't use it, what good is it? Now, it's not to say that I don't use it. I'm using it right now to vlog on. I'm saying for everyday carry and shooting photos, which is one of my favorite things to do, I'm simply not doing it because it's so damn big. You could also think of workouts like this. You could argue that CrossFit's the best workout. You could argue that swimming's the best workout, being a triathlete, whatever the case may be. But the best workout is the one you'll actually do. And along those lines, that's why I wanna to talk to you about these. These are the Beats Studio Buds. And I kinda of wanted to just give you my thoughts on using them over the last, you know, month, month and a half. That's what I'm actually looking at, is the Fuji X-T30. I had one of those before and it was amazing. Maybe the XS10, that's what my wife has. Bam! Fuji X-T30. I love this camera and I regretted selling it so much. I've wanted another one ever since I did. And today, they had the exact color I wanted and even a $100 rebate. So today was a good day. And it's only 11 o'clock in the morning. Things are looking up. Now let's go talk about those earbuds. See how tiny this is? This is what I'm walking around with you can see how big of a difference size is on this. This camera is in literally like every single way better than this camera when it comes to like a specs standpoint. This lens is optically superior to this lens in every single way. However, when you say best, whether you hear it from me or any other YouTuber, best is completely subjective. So even though this was better, this is better if I want to take photos. I just know my own psychology. So what does that have to do with this? If you've been looking for a workout headphone, you have probably seen a hundred thumbnails on YouTube claiming that this is the best. That hasn't been my experience. I've had these for a little over a month 
and I thought I would share with you some ways that they're good and some ways that they're really not that good. Let's go over the things I do like. Uh, I like that it's USB-C. The case is pretty small, but it is very slippery. But I like the look of it. The earbuds themselves go in with like a really strong magnet. So when they go in, they go in like really easily. Uh, I love the size. I really like this little grip thing here, but we'll get into that in a second. So putting them in is super easy and they connect ultra fast to the phone. The moment you take it out, put it in there, you'll hear the bloop bloop and they're connected and they're ready to go. I do like some of the controls that you get uh, on your phone without having to download a separate app. Once one has connected, it actually brings up some more like uh, options. I've got transparency, off, or noise cancellation. And I'll be honest, I didn't really notice a difference between transparency or noise cancellation when I first used it. When I actually started using noise cancellation in like the gym environment, it's A+. I think it's really good. On the app itself, this is where you can select what you want these little buttons to do. So on the sides of these earbuds, there are these little buttons. And you can switch them from noise control or Siri. And you can differentiate between the left or the right, whatever one you want to use. How's the audio quality? The audio quality is great. The sound from these things is excellent. I'm not an audiophile, but nothing sounds muddy. Nothing sounds extra tinny where you get kind of that metallic noise. The bass isn't overwhelming, which has been kind of like what beats are known for. I think everything is mixed really well and very well balanced. Listening to HD songs on like Amazon Music, the, the Ultra HD, they sound great. I think that's kind of where the pros for me end. I don't like that it's so slippery. I wish there was more texture to it. I guess I could buy like a silicone cover. I'm sure somebody makes one for the Beat Studio Buds that just make it easier to grip. But this thing is constantly like falling out of my pocket because it has nothing to like attach to. And some people love that and some people hate that. And for me, I'd rather have a little bit of texture. Not so much that I can't pull it out of my pants, but anyway. These little buttons, whenever I have to adjust the fit, I'm hitting that button. So I'm constantly hitting this and pausing the music or whatever I'm doing, and that's really frustrating. And there have even been some points where I've hit this button, and I don't know what I did, but it wouldn't restart the song. And I had to go through and disconnect the buds, cancel out the program that I was on, and restart everything in order for that button's playback and pause feature to like work again. Probably the biggest con for me is actually the fit. If you're doing anything that's more intense than just lifting weights, these things constantly come out. Whenever I'm running, if I'm doing cardio, if I'm doing plyometrics, if I'm doing like a speed ladder, these things will like, if I'm sprinting, they'll literally just drop out on the floor. And because of their size, you can lose these super easy. I've wasted more time fitting them in right that they're almost not worth it. As good as these are, they're almost not worth it. Now on top of that, they have a lot of inter interference. I've noticed that whether I'm in the gym or just here at my house, I'll get a lot of pop and fizz and that the battery life is surprisingly bad. It's already telling me it's in the red. I only worked out three times last week. So like three and a half hours. And if you can see that, no, you can't. <laughs> I'll just take a picture of it. These are like at 12% battery life. So overall, I'm pretty disappointed in these. Now, these could be amazing if all you're using them for is like listening to music. Like if you're flying somewhere and you really just use these to kind of like zone out while you're traveling, these things are awesome. Are they worth 150 bucks? I guess that depends on you. For me, I had enough Apple cards that these were only 25. So it's really not that big of a bummer, but there's no way I would spend $150 on these, given how much time I've wasted just adjusting them rather than focusing on my workout. If you did like the video, if you like the length, because this one was a short one, please hit that like button right down there somewhere because man, YouTube is huge and it goes such a long way with the YouTube algorithm getting this video seen by more people just like you. As always, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We are 
quickly getting to 20,000 subscribers. And as soon as we do, we're gonna have a huge, a huge ass giveaway. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell down below. Again, I'm Brandon Talbot. I like to make videos that are gonna help you move, feel, and perform better, both mentally and physically. Thanks again for watching. I'll catch you later. Peace.